so I'm making a coin wallet and I've got a picture here to scale with a quarter so I figured I'd take my iPhone and stretch it out till the quarter actually meets my quarter and matches up then I would take a uh, just a regular tailor's tape and measure the size of it once I actually got the dimensions correct with the normal size quarter and it seemed to actually come out pretty accurate so um, this is how I did it and as long as you don't touch it the iPhone with two fingers after you actually get it to scale it doesn't really change the dimensions of the picture so anyway this is how I got it to scale actually cut the dimensions oversized by half of an inch uh, on the main body of the uh, wallet just I just want to give myself a little room for when I'm sewing the edges uh, the accordion style I haven't tried before so I just want to give myself a little bit of leeway This area here is actually going to be for the card holder on the inside and so I'm going to make this four and seven eighths inches. Uh, this has got to actually fit down inside of the wallet behind the accordion so um, you'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about. cut the strips for the cards at two inches. The backing plate behind them will be slightly larger. Here I'm figuring out where I want my snaps to be located. I've got two snaps, I want them equally apart. Here I'm gluing up the end pieces. I, uh, I forgot to get a picture of exactly what they look like. They are definitely not squares. I uh, made one to fit and then kind of copied the other one to match it. The sewing process was, was quite, a, quite an ordeal to get to the corner. I ended up um, just hand stitching most of the bottom because I couldn't get to it with anything else. So um, that was fun. Here's my simple little credit card holder. 
Uh, it's basically just uh, three pieces of leather sewed onto a little strip of leather itself and then I uh, just glued it into the back there. Now I'm just uh, folding the front over and I got an impression off the fronts of the snaps to know where to locate the tops. And now I'll just put them on. It's time to go a little crazy with the edge groover and I'm going to put a pattern on this thing. Why not, right? Now it's time to put on my maker's mark. I pretty much failed at this attempt. Later on when I do the burnishing, I, I made the maker's mark a lot better. But this attempt was a definite fail. I'm just applying some light needs foot oil right here. sheen. This stuff's pretty awesome. I pretty much use it on every project. Mm -hmm. 